Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dokonic here, and today we're going to be going over a couple of updates on both the global and the JP sides of Dokkan Battle. So, first things first, let's go ahead and go cut out all the small news before we jump into the big news. Uh, version 3.3 in global is underway, we're currently under maintenance, it's like 11.40 at night. Uh, that's what I'm recording this, and that, um, honestly, I'm trying to get this thing posted up by 12.30 midnight uh, Eastern Time. 3.3 uh, is supposed to contain Battlefield, so... Keeping my fingers crossed, I would really like to get Battlefield. I already have all the medals. I just want Battlefield for one. LR Ginyu, for sure. Man, I want that LR Ginyu. I don't have a lot of Ginyu saved up. I, he just hasn't been dropping for me, but I want the LR Ginyu. Um, and uh, the, the potential orbs. I want to be able to get those potential orbs, man. I'm telling you, when when this comes around and you have the ability to purchase potential orbs through the system, it just makes it a lot easier to get your characters to 100%. Once they're 100%, they're just hitting like freaking beasts. Um, so that should be underway. Uh, there's really no 100% guarantee that it's going to be available after this update, but uh, Renzi from DBZ Space got this information, data mined this information. It should technically be available. This is what you see on your screen right now. Hopefully, keep my fingers crossed that's going to be available soon and we can actually start that grind. Keep that in mind, guys. Jumping over to the next piece of news over here. Uh, all the LRs are currently, and this is on the JP side, are in the banner for Kale and Khalifla. So you do have a chance for pulling one of the LRs. Good luck if you're going for it. Personally, I'm not going to be going for it. Um, again, free to play on JP side, so I'm probably going to be saving. The next one is with the new linking system that's going on in the JP side of Dokkan Battle. This is when that skill is activated. As you can see here, there are three bonus Hercule statues. Two of them are platinum. One of them is just a basic SR for 500,000 Zenny. Uh, this is what it looks like when that skill takes into effect and what you can get with it. Uh, I guess this is the max that drops with it, considering I'm assuming that this was against Hercule and Videl. That's the only time that you really get two statues to drop, but that's freaking awesome. Look at that. That's four platinum statues and one SR. That's freaking amazing. I can't wait for this to come onto the global side. It's going to make item grinding so much better. I really hope that they do that with the Awakening Medals, because that means if you go up against anyone inside of the Awakening Medal levels, you can run, like, let's just say they did it this way, different teams for Common Medals, Rare Medals, Super Rare Medals, and SSR, or Gold Medals, anyway, Capsules. But anyway, uh, that's that. Let's jump into the next one. Here we have, over here, a JP side, we have Half Stamina Dokkan events um, up until, or starting, July 26th at 12 o'clock midnight JST. I guess that's live now. Um, so that's there, so that's for you. Um, but yeah, oh, and that, um, Goku, this Goku over here, he is getting his awakening, so that's gonna be freaking awesome. Uh, keep that in mind. This is for the event that's gonna be coming up, the JP vs. Global Dokkan event, where we're gonna be running up against, um, JP, essentially the, the global side, where I consider myself a global player. Going up against JP to try and win the Vegeta, or, yeah, the Vegeta over the Yamcha, uh, we should be getting a whole bunch of new stuff with that, so that's going to be cool. Stay tuned for that. I think I already did a video covering that. When the event comes out and we have more information, I'll be doing an in-depth review on that, so hit that sub button if you are. Uh, now, the next one we're going to go ahead and go into is the one that everyone's been talking about. I was at work. I got the notification. My phone buzzed while I was at my desk. I freaked out. Let's go ahead and click dbz.space. Thank you, Renzi, for this information. Here we go. Um, so, first things first, if you haven't heard, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta... And Omega Shenron, the new one, is going to be available at some point soon. Actually, so technically, it's in eight, 11 days. I think it said on the 4th of August that it's supposed to become available. Let's go ahead and take it. Yeah, August 4th, 2017, 1.30 a.m. GMT. So I really don't know what time that is in Eastern Time, but um, that, that should be in about 10, 11 days. So freaking phenomenal, guys. Holy crap. Um, I can't wait for that. This is going to be insane. We have all the card information over here. I'm not going to actually... Oh, yeah. I'm not going to do this. I have everything already loaded over here. So, before we go into the card review, I want to pre-state some information. This is data mined information from Dokkan Battle. There is a lack of information here. The stats, the information, the link skills, the passives, the lack of a leader skill, all this information is subjective and can be changed. This is not definitive. This, happened, this happens all the time when it comes to data mining and I just want to state that. I'm not saying that this is all like, not going to happen, but I did want to state that these types of things aren't always going to be the final product. Uh, there are a couple things that are actually missing from here that technically I think should be here uh, in some for some of the link skills anyway. Um, I found a couple on the Reddit. I'm going to be talking about them too. Uh, but Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Omega Shenron, I guess the final battle from GT, and th these are supposed to be the new cards. 
Now, there are three big theories going around. The first one, before we go into the review, is that it's fake. Personally, I don't think it's fake. Um, the one thing I could possibly say about this is um, maybe it's going to be an event type of a thing, a special event, and these are like the, kind of like their debut. Um, for, for them being an event, it kind of that would be a little bit unlikely, but that's assuming this is like it's more of a fake release of card content for us to use. Uh, that, that would be the stretch that I can believe it to be. But I don't think that's the case. Uh, the next one that everyone's talking about is that this is going to be replacing the current JP leaders. I don't think that's the case either. I don't think that the global side is going to actually uh, have new cards to replace the current 120 meta leaders. It, it might be, considering we're going to go into damage analysis in a little bit based off of their current stats and passives. But their the leader skills aren't there, so we don't know what the heck is actually going to happen. I, I don't really think they're going to be replacements for the JP. If they are, I'm kind of upset because I just 100 percent at my full power Frieza, and that was my second full power, like my second 100 percent card, and I literally set him up because of the Korra. And if Korra doesn't come out, I'm going to be a little bit upset, uh, a little bit salty there. But I really don't think that's going to be the case. Now the third one is one that I thought all day long, and I saw, I found one Reddit post. Someone else is thinking it the same as me. Thankfully, I, you know, I'm not the only one with this thought, and I'm sure there are many of you who have the same thought. Now this is my thought on it: the new meta on JP is going to be coming to global. And the 120 leads are going to be released alongside of the new meta characters. Now, I personally wasn't following along uh, hardcore with what Bandai Namco had said, but I remember watching a Rhyme Style video about a year ago, and he said that he spoke with some people, um, I think maybe longer than over a year ago, and he spoke with some people at Bandai Namco during some event that he went to, and they said that they were working on a way to get the global side caught up to JP. Where we, were, where we would only be about one to two weeks, maybe at most a month, behind the JP side. So I think that this is finally coming into fruition, and that we're actually getting caught up on the JP side, and this would be the best way to do it. Global would be pretty damn hyped. People would be more willing to drop money. I mean, think of it, you would have one banner with double leads. How phenomenal would that be? That would be freaking hyped. I mean, yes, it, it would stink because we, we would lose a whole six months of that meta being relevant but the cards aren't bad at all and if they're releasing a new meta alongside the, the old the well the jp old meta and the, the our global side new meta i feel like people will be more inclined to actually go and summon and the banners would be different they would probably have all the different uh cards in that meta uh available to us you know we would have the new meta the old meta and possibly the old old meta like the, the flat out boost leaders and that's just something that i think um or it could just be that they aren't um, going to be part of the new meta whatsoever and they're just the super and extreme leaders and they're trying to play catch up that way so that way jp goes through this and then we play a little bit of catch up and then maybe they'll slow down or, or consolidate some of the banners but who knows i personally think they're trying to play catch up um but with that being said guys that, that was just my opinion and the opinions of the community uh let's go ahead and talk about their stats and their information now this is the um ssr version of the gogeta um, he's pretty cool. He's pretty hyped. Now these numbers over here, uh, pretty sure based off not that stat, uh, based off of this, these numbers are off of what a standard high tier or a mid tier, whatever you want to call it, uh, depending on how you look at the tier system for orbs. These are what their st uh, stats should be before the orb system. Now these images, to me, when I first saw it, I thought this was 100% orbs. There's nothing checked off over here or anything like that. To me, this looks like it's a hundred percent, hundred percent everything with max orb system, and that's what that's what apparently what no, five seven or EA five seven five thought as well. Uh, glad that's the thing. I'm glad that someone else thinks that too. Uh, that's what I'm thinking anyway. But his max stats, with assumably his max potential system, is HP of thirteen thousand five hundred and fifty, attack of fifteen thousand four hundred and sixty, and defense of seven hundred. Not that bad. And this is his um, abilities anyway. Leader skills still to be released. Uh, super attack big bang kamehameha raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage to the enemy uh passive skill plus energy attack plus 100 percent extreme type enemies attack and defense minus 15 percent so a little bit of the buffer right there high chance of evading the enemy super attack and countering with enormous power that's awesome high chance is awesome love it it's only for super attacks but it's still freaking great normal attacks with that def well with that max defense i mean maybe he'll be able to tank a little bit better um but countering that super attack. Now, the only thing that comes that calls the question here is, if you all remember on the JP side with Janemba having that ability to dodge, a high chance to dodge, dodge super attacks, we're all supering. That's all there is to it. If his, like, Doken event allows him to have that high chance to dodge, 
holy crap, it's going to be a pain in the ass. Um, Link skills are Super Saiyan, Command Man, Shocking Speed, Over in a Flash, GT, and Fused Fighter. Now, personally, guys, before we start, before we move on here, right? I don't think these are going to be his final Link skills at all. First off, uh, yes, he is a GT. He does have Fused Fighter, Over in a Flash. I personally think that Shocking Speed should be prepared for battle. He is a Saiyan. He doesn't have Saiyan Roar. I think he should have Saiyan Roar as well. Uh, there are things that we don't know yet, so this is just... Uh, I guess a precursor to what he could be, but if these are his link skills, you know what? So be it. He has a whole bunch of freaking key. He is a key crazy person. He's just giving energy to everyone. That's awesome. Uh, his Dokken Waking form is the Price Peerless Gleam Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. A uh, hundred time Big Bang Kamehameha. Uh, first off, I love the fact that they're giving him the Big Bang Kamehameha instead of doing the Soul. The Soul Punisher was Jembo. Um, and that's, again, so for those of you who are wondering, that's probably why he doesn't do, uh, treat everyone as if he has a type advantage, because it's not Soul Punisher, it's Big Bang Kamehameha. Greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, so he's doing a lot more damage with the super attack when it's launched, and he gives himself a defense buff, um, and causes immense damage to the enemy. His new max stats with 100% dupe system, assuming HP of 16,150, attack of 17,540, and defense of 9,675. Uh, passive skill plus energy of justice, attack plus 120%. Extreme type enemies, attack and defense minus 20%, so that's really nice to buff. High chance of evading enemy super attack, encountering with tremendous power. Fucking phenomenal. Apologize for cursing there. Uh, link skills are Super Saiyan Kamehameha, Shocking Speed, Over in a Flash, Fierce Battle, and Fighter. Uh, the next one, well, uh, let's go ahead and jump in here again before do that he does get the fierce battle link so that's freaking that's pretty cool i like that he gets the fierce battle link he still has a lot of freaking a lot of i just feel like he should have prepared for battle maybe one more attack like saiyan roar i would i would personally get rid of shocking speed um and i would probably replace shocking speed with saiyan roar um or i mean kamehameha kind of has to be there it's kind of a staple but yeah i would probably get rid of one of the to give him another attack link but i mean he's not horrible attack was 120 percent uh, with an immense damage multiplier, he's not bad. Alright, the next one we're going to talk about is the strongest Shadow Dragon, Omega Shenron. This is his SSR variant. He's a physical type. Um, he, his max stats before dupes or after dupe system should technically be 15,375, attack of 14,240, and defense of 8830. Super attack, gigantic blades, causes immense damage to the enemy and greatly lowers defense. That's typical of an Omega Shenron. He has a passive skill minus energy. Attack plus 100%, all enemies attack and defense minus 15%. Launches an additional attack when, which has a rare chance to become a super attack. Not amazing, kind of reminds me of Korra, actually. So I think that's really why people were thinking that these are going to be the placements. Because their, their, their max stats are equivalent to that of the current meta that's, that just came out with the Super Saiyan 4s. Um, and the passives, while they're not exactly the same... They're, they're, they they do hit pretty damn freaking hard. Uh, Link skills, Brutal, Beatdown, Big Bad Bosses, Shocking Speed, Fear and Faith, and Shadow Dragons. So, definitely not bad Link skill set. Definitely not a bad Link skill set at all. Max stats are HP of 18,300, Attack of 16,060, and Defense of 9950. Super Attack, Minus Energy, Power Ball, causes immense damage to the enemy and greatly lowers defense. And let's go ahead over passive skill minus energy of evil attack plus 120%. All enemies attack and defense minus 20%. So that's a little bit different than the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I, I kind of feel like the Omega kind of is a little bit better of a unit. I mean, his attack is up higher. He does more damage. He goes after everyone. Um, the only thing that he has that's less a little bit is it launches an additional attack, which has a chance to become a super attack. I guess Gogeta has a chance to, you know, because he has a chance to dodge. Whatever, I mean, I think they're both really good units. Personally, I'm, I'm more of the villain guy. I like the villains teams better. Um, I have my fusions team already. I would like the Goji, don't get me wrong. Uh, they'd probably... I would see them doing a dual Dokkan Fest for these two. There was an actual post that I had saw that I'm just going to mention real quick. Someone had said that they th believed that with these two coming around, they're going to do what they did with the Super Saiyan 4s where you have to summon on each of the banners, and then after a certain amount, you get tickets, and then those tickets can be used to get a possibility to pull one of, like, a featured LR, and then when you get the featured LR, you get medals that are going to be specific to Dokken Awakening, your Super Vegito to an LR. I think that's way too complicated. I don't think Bandai's going to do that. Let's go finish up with the Link skill set, first off. Brutal Beatdown, Big Bad Bosses, Shocking Speed, G Fierce Battle, Fear and Faith, and Shadow Dragons. 
yeah, so that's that's pretty cool. I uh, use a decent le link skill set. He gives himself a, a nice attack buff. Uh, Fierce Battle, Shadow Dragons is actually going to be utilized because you have the physical Sin Shenron. Um, so you have that there. They, they, they actually will link up very, very well together because they're essentially hitting off every single one of their links. Um, assuming that this is going to be a thing. These guys are really good. I don't. Th I think that if they weren't going to be a new meta of leaders, I think that Bandai would have wasted the potential of who these two are. So I think that they are going to be part of the meta. I just I think that they're going to be releasing the newest meta on global side, but we won't know for another week. So uh, you know, stay tuned to hit that sub again. Again, hit that sub button if you're new here, and I'll give you that information when it becomes available. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at their quotes. We do have their quotes now. The first two, I believe, to be uh, Mega Shenron. Well, the first one, definitely. The second one's probably what his Dokken Awakening is. So the first one is Shadow Dragons, trust your power to me. The second one, what an incredible boost in strength. I could see that being. Uh, and then the next one is going to be I'm neither Goku nor Vegeta. I'm the one who will crush you. So that's pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of when Gohan says, I'm the one who will kill you. No, I'm here to kill you. But he said that the boo. And then uh, the last one will probably be Gogeta as well. This attack will be your undoing. So that's cool. Um, I like that. The, the other thing before I, we, we end this video and call the video to close it out, the other options that I could possibly see with these two is being like essentially what the 100% leaders were. We might have a new meta where it's like you get 150% or 140% HP attack and defense buffs, but you get like key plus one for a specific type. So for instance, the Gogeta would be tech. So you would have tech type, HP, attack, and defense plus 140%, key plus one. Uh, so that they would not be giving a lot of key, but they would be giving a huge attack buff. The other one would be, they're just the new super and extreme type leaders, and we're just getting them before everything else. That's all that there is to it. But that's it, guys. Let me know what you guys believe down in the comments below. I'm, I'm happy about this. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to do another discussion video talking about the differences between pay to play versus free to play because there's a lot of a lot of hatred from both sides of the community about how pay to play players are kind of getting screwed because of all the content and how fast it releases and for those of us who are actually putting our money into the game bandai's not taking us uh, you know what we do putting money into the game so that way they can keep on developing content and taking that into consideration and then free to play players that are getting upset because the only way for them to stay into in meta is to re-roll their accounts uh, so that way they can get the most recent good cards. Um, I, I completely understand both sides of the community, where they're coming from. But um, let me know if you guys want to talk about that. I'll go ahead and do a separate discussion video about that. But anyway, guys, uh, just remember, Battlefield tomorrow, most likely, well, not the actual event tomorrow, but should be available by tomorrow. When that comes out, I will let you guys know. Thank you for joining me here today. I appreciate your time. You had hit that subscribe button if you're new here, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.